Hey y'all, I am working on my unicorn, but uh, look, I finished the little sugar mouse. And it's, it's in that, um, what is it? The Premier Pixie Dust. And um, that that yarn, it's a, it's a, a fluffy yarn, but it is a number four. I will show you this one next to the Premier uh, Parfait one. And I think I'll make it also in the blanket yarn. But anyway, here is the unicorn as well. It's just, you see, it's time for me to put in a safety eye. So I'm going to stop for tonight. I'm just making it with some white um, blanket yarn. And then I have a bunch of scraps for the curls and stuff. But um, I need to find uh, some really unicorny uh safety eyes and i also like looking for them and getting you have to the ones that are most appropriate i will need to um probably boil the back so i can actually get it to snap on i also like doing all that tonight so i stop i'm stopping for now but anyway look at the little sugar mouth it's all done all done and i decided to do safety eyes on this one and then I did a little pink nose. I'll just have it sitting in the head right now. Anyway, that makes three projects completed for the weekend. Uh, the I'll show you the um, little purple and lavender monkey and the other I made a blue sugar mouse and um I'll come back and show you. I showed it in the most recent video, the book and everything. And I did already show the other two, but I'll re-show them in this crafty vlog. Welcome to the beginning of a new crafty week, and I will see you in the next clip. My nails are terrible. I know. Guys, look at these. These are the best little unicorn eyes ever. Very, very nice. I'm glad I waited till I wasn't tired uh to pink them but i love these they have you can't tell but the sparklies are like little stars and the green color is like perfect all right that's it i just wanted to show you that hey guys uh excuse the background noise i'm continuing on with this vlog today it's sunday and i think it is june 22nd so i'm gonna show you what i have made since uh well, some of this you've already seen but i did finish my unicorn i want to show you but this is kind of all since thursday and i just want to show you okay so the monkey pattern we've already seen this is a madeline may co pattern and guys i am about to start another one of these in a in a slightly different color way uh, I love the pattern. I absolutely love this pattern. Uh, I love, 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 love. And if I could find my doggone pipe cleaner things, I would put one in so you could. So that's what I suggest. If you have pipe cleaners, go ahead and do this. But looky, looky, so cute. I just really wanted to give him, give you an opportunity to really see him. I put brown eyes on this guy and he just turned out so cute and I, I love the size that you get when you use uh, Sweet Snuggles uh, Light or Chanel Home Slim from Loops and Threads. Nice size monkey. I really, really like that. Um, I did already also show you the sugar mouse that I made and I showed you guys the pattern book that I got this one from. I don't know what's going on there, but... It's not quite <laughs> symmetrical, but anyway, Sugar Mouse, right? I did show you yesterday in a small clip this Sugar Mouse with the safety eyes and the pink nose and the little tail. And finally, finally, this took me, uh, it is, I just finished this. I got home from church, I would say at 1.30 or 2 and I started working on it. Keep it in mind that everything was made, I think, except for, I think I still had to make a couple of the, um, I had to make a couple of the, the curls, but overall I had made everything, and it's taken me all afternoon to actually get 
them all sewn on. So here you go. This is also a Madeline May co pattern. And she came out super cute. She got a big old tail. Look at all her hair, her curls there, her mane. And if you could, I don't know if y'all can see how cute her eyes are, but I showed them before. But I don't know, this unicorn just seems, should be a girl, right? With all of this hair and mane. I'm sure they are girls and boys, or maybe they're asexual. I don't know. But, <laughs> so weird. Uh, but she came out super cute. I love her size. The white is Bernat Blanket Yarn. Um, this is the, uh, this is the Big Twist plush yarn this is blanket this one is blanket that one is blanket this is the one i made the fruit stripe bear out of it's the lion brand yarn i forgot the name of it but i still have a little bit of that left over from the ball from the um from the fruit stripe bear and i thought it came out so super I love that colorway and I thought it was perfect for the unicorn so there you go all done so that's it for this clip I just wanted y'all to see the unicorn and I wanted to review what I had already done so I'm gonna put all this stuff away and probably um, I don't know I want to continue crocheting but y'all this morning I was heating up the backs for that the for the eyes on the unicorn right so what i did is i put them in a little uh jar with some water put that in the microwave so i heated it up for like two minutes it was fine but then i forgot to go get it out so i was like oh before i got busy doing something else so i said before i actually uh put them on attempt to put them on i should go ahead and heat them up just a little bit more so i did that i sat down and then I heard the microwave sounded like it was struggling. So I hurried up and ran over and I saw lights. It was a flame. So the microwave died, y'all. The microwave died today. May it rest in peace. And we took it out and we Steve immediately uh, got a new one from Target. So I need to go and fix up the area, throw out a bunch of stuff. And so we can have a place for this new microwave um anyway uh but we did something so cool today so i think i've explained to you guys that with my church we do not have our own building and maybe about right before the pandemic we started really with the building fund so we could find something we wanted to have a community center but if you know anything about los angeles the prices are ridiculous okay and even though we have a pretty decent sized um, amount of money saved up, it's just real estate is so just almost unobtainable for what we want to do. So we're trying to think it all through. Anyway, say it all that to say, we actually use a synagogue on Sundays. However, a lot of churches, I think, have gone through this for us. We don't have the same amount of people in our congregation as we did uh, prior to the pandemic. Um, lots of things affected that. Um, people moving away, people just deciding they wanted to do church a different way, uh, that they wanted to do it with different people. Uh, anyway, therefore, in order to uh, sort of make up for that, um, loss we are only meeting at the synagogue twice a month which of course we pay rent for that right we rent it rent it out and they are a wonderful wonderful congregation um and we love being in partnership with them um and they have tried to work with us because they like us a lot too um and so twice a month we meet all together at the synagogue the other two times a month, we call that small Sunday. And for our group, so we meet according to, we meet, we all have small groups that we meet in. And twice a month, we have a smaller, small group in somebody's home, maybe in a park. And that's how we do it. 
And I really love my small group. Honestly, I could just go to the small group. If they did it four times a month, I could do that. I would be fine. Anyway, we decided amongst ourselves and our small group that we would do a service project for one of those Sundays. So we always have communion. But for one of those Sundays, uh, we always do a potluck as well. And we always, most of the time, have a lesson. But on the service Sunday, um, we uh, do some sort of service. So you guys have seen, I have shown video a little bit of us doing um, our Cards for Soldiers project. That was my idea. I can't wait to do my next idea. I'm so excited. I'm probably not going to do mine, though, until probably September or so, depending on what's going on with the Thompsons. Uh, I'll just say it in general. No, I'm not going to say it because we don't know. So depending on what's happening with the Thompson family, I will be doing my next one that I'm in charge of um, in September. Um, we all are taking turns and coming up with projects. So today's project, I said all that to say, today's project was a wonderful one. So I don't know if you guys know this, and I don't know if I shared it here, but I used to work in the foster care system when I was in Chicago. That is what I did from college until I moved here. Um, and uh, so we, I have a friend who is a, um, uh, works in that system as well. She has a contact who does something that she calls love boxes. And so basically this woman was inspired because she saw a need. And she worked it within the foster care system. She saw a bunch of, you know, black and brown girls who were placed in different homes where their hygiene, their hair care in specific was not prioritized, not because of anything malicious, but you know, if you are not of the same culture, it's hard for you to understand what it is to take care of a child who has uh from a different culture you take care of your skin differently, you take care of your hair differently. It's very different. And if you don't know that, it's not that you're mean and evil. You just need to be educated. And so she noticed that these girls, some of them were being lured away and being trafficked simply by somebody saying, hey, girl, I can help you get your hair done. And they get them and get their hair done and then hook them into that terrible trafficking system. It's unbelievable, but it's true. It's what happens. And so this woman um, is... Um, her idea was to provide these love boxes and the love boxes are full of hair care products and this time she said it's not like this all the time but this time they were full size hair care um, products in these boxes I mean they were chock full I'm going to show you a little bit here of what we were able to do what we were able to put together I'll put in some clips but we just showed up to box everything up we put together about 200 boxes we had ended up having a couple things that were short so she's gonna have to fill those in but w the goal was to do 200 boxes and we did 200 boxes and these will be distributed to girls um through their attorneys the, their guardian ad litem their the people that are looking out for them the systems that they work within their social workers they will be distributed to them and when i look at that box i mean i could have taken all that stuff and used it for myself like i would love it so i know that a girl who um is somewhere where people either she's in a she could be in a group home she could be in a foster home that Either folks are uh, not of her culture and they don't understand how to take care of her hair. Um, or she could be in a foster home where they have so many kids, they are so busy, they don't have time. Uh, they definitely don't have the money to go to the salon to have it styled professionally all the time. That's definitely so, so far not the case. Although this woman is working to get that to be a part of what the the state pays for is for their hair care because it's it's a big deal and so anyway it was a wonderful time that's what we did that's that was our church we had communion and then we served and it was wonderful i just had a wonderful time and so 
me and Steve did that. Then we picked up the microwave. Then I came home and then I worked on this unicorn. And here we are. So anyway, I'll show you a little footage here of that. And uh, I'll see you in the next clip. I don't know. This might be all my crochet for the week. Although I feel like I'm going to go over here after I do a little something. I'm washing clothes. I got to fix the microwave area. But then I might sit down and start another monkey. I bought uh, another two colors of uh, that I didn't need. I know of um the sweet snuggles light and it's also in the purple family but this one is my bts this one is definitely my bts project steve wants a purple one so i'm either gonna make an exact replica or he'll take the one that i'm gonna make next but i gotta keep it interesting for myself so i'm gonna make the other colorway and then uh, I will make his if he doesn't want the one that I make. So anyway, that's it. That's all. Thanks for. Uh... Okay, sorry. I thought somebody was coming to my door and nobody should be because no one's home but me. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. guys i'm wrapping up my june reading with this um this is the second of four books by uh in this series from um octavia butler it is the patternist series and the first one i read was um the wild seed that was book one and it is um it is i did that on audio it was a part of my audible subscription so i just went ahead and did that and this this is the one that steve finished um earlier this month this is the second but but this series is kind of confusing because the books were released out of order you know so i thought that my book was um this the book that i have the patternist i thought that one was before this one but it was just released before this one. But when you read it chronologically, this one is the second book. The book after this one is called Clay's Ark. I might take a break in July from Octavia Butler, but then come back and read Clay's Ark. Uh, depending on how this ends, uh, I might just really want to go ahead and get into Clay's Ark, which is the next one. And then one comes after that is called, um, I think it's called Survival. And that book is out of print, so that one's just not. But they, the, everything I read said it's kind of like a standalone, so you don't really need it for the series. And then I own the last one, which is The Patternist. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll finish the entire series, but I'm going to skip it for July because I have like six other books that I want to read um, in July. And we'll talk about that over on Steve's channel and on our um, booktube series thompson's reading it'll be linked thanks bye hey everybody it's kim the crafty nomad and i am back and i mean i am back because i just recorded this whole thing and there's no sound so something was going on with my mic and so i'm re-recording anyway this is the last clip of this week's crafty vlog let me show you the last project that i made for the month of june it is another mini belly monkey from Madeline Mayco. This is that's the pattern designer, and this one is made with uh, again with the um, 
Oofing Thread Chenille Home Slim, which is pretty much the exact same thing as uh, Loops and Threads uh, Sweet Snuggles Light. It's just that um, they have different colors available. This one, I'm telling you, I cannot believe how much trouble I started having. It was so much shedding. I can't believe it because, you know, that's just, you have to count the cost. When you're using Chenille Home Slim or uh, Sweet Snuggles Light, you have to decide if you're going to be okay with all the fluff because the fluff is going to happen. Um, but anyway, I have fluff everywhere, but I got it done. All said, this one is Steve. She asked for a purple one. This is different from the one that we um, uh, completed earlier. This is a different set of purpley, pinky, purpley colors. And let me just go get the other one so you can see the difference between the two. Hold on. I'm very glad I went over there and got it because they literally are this... Uh, <laughs> These yarns are the same company, same brand. I am not sure if I just used a different... I thought I used the number six. I really thought I used the number six um, J-hook on both of these, but the size difference is amazing. So I don't think I did. I must... I know for sure I used the number six on this one. I used my... Um, uh, the from re, the set of hooks from We Crochet. I used the number six on both of these, but look, it's the exact same yarns. And now you can see the difference in the colors. Anyway, that's an interesting thing because they literally are the same yarns. And look, when I look at the ears. Like, the ears are the exact same. I must have used... Even the tail is longer, but there's a reason why this tail is short. I had to do a little bit of extra work there. But I'm amazed at how different these are. Ooh, and I realize now he doesn't have eyelashes. I mean, eyebrows. This one does, but I didn't put the brows on this one. Anyway, this one is Steve's. This one is for sale. <laughs> This one will go in my bin for future markets, but I love the pattern so much. Third monkey down. Okay, so now let's move on, and I am going to show you some yarn. I got a quick little haul, and then I'm out. So I got um, some Posh. I have been stalking um, the Joanne's website to see if they would come back in with some more Posh. Um, and finally, nobody told me I had to discover it. And but but by the time I discovered it, that brown is completely out, and that's what I really really wanted. Um, but anyway, I got two glow warms. I got two lemon meringues. I got two of the ube. Wait, what is it called? The ube milk tea which that's actually a perfect color name, or you could have called it Lavender Milk Tea. That's a good color name. Anyway, and then I, I got two of the whipped cream, which is basically the white. But the whipped cream, let me show y'all these and see if it's still, because when I recorded this before, these two look different. Now they kind of don't, but do they look different to you? Uh, they don't look different. They look different earlier, but they look about the same. Okay, anyway. In addition, so I did that order online pickup in store and got all of the posh. Plus, I got two of the new colorways from um, the blanket yarn. And I totally and completely blame my crochet sister, Deb Murray, my crochet sister, um, Lori Gray. I blame them for these. Um... Deb showed these exact colors. It's the Burnett Baby Blanket. And it is, I think it's called uh, Pixie Dot. And I love this. You know, Chanel Home Slim. And, no, not Chanel. Uh, um, loops and Threads. Um, loops and Threads. Sweet Snuggles Light. Had like a dot one. I used... Um, their dot one on one of the rabbits and i also used it on the floppy ear rabbit i love uh that the burnett came out with a dot because i actually just like burnett better because it's it's not as 
it, it doesn't shed. So I really like that. And then I got this colorway. These are the exact colors they have got. And uh, this is called Zing Dot. And I got these. Um, I tried the whole bag. I didn't need any of it, but I just didn't want to miss out on some of the newer colors. And I just wanted to get more posh. One more thing that I did get, or two more things that I got. Blaming this one on Lori, the the lion, the not the lion brand, but the Bernat that's on Deb. This one is on Lori. So Deb hit let Deb hit Lori with the bus, and then Lori and Deb were both on the bus when they hit me with this one. So this one I saw this one in Lori's haul. This is Big Twist Plush, not posh, plush. Number six, bulky, you get 153 yards. This is one of their newer colorways. I love that because there was a point where this was no longer available. I mean, I, I actually really like this because it's like blanket yarn, but it's always cheaper. But they only had, when they first came out with it, they only had limited colors. And now they're coming out with more. Every year they come out with more colors. And I love these variegated. This one reminds me of um a retro stripe from um red heart super saver uh this one is called neon rainbow variegated they had another one that was called crayola box or crayon box or something like that and uh but i held back i did not buy it i just bought one of these it feels like the formulation got better we'll see when we try to work with this but this feels like it is um, going to be easier on my hands when I work with this. Uh, I still think it's going to work up bigger than the red than the uh, uh, Bernat blanket because it always does. But uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be easier to work with. I can't wait to to make something with this. Maybe I don't even know yet what I'm going to make with this yet. It could be a I'm tempted to make it a turtle, but I make so many turtles. I don't want to keep making turtles. But um, we'll come up with the project for this specifically. Um, and then I just grabbed, just because I was walking by and it was on sale. Because um, the, the posh, the plush, sorry, the plush yarn and these Juicy Coutures, I picked these up while I was in the store picking up this other stuff that I ordered online. Because, you know, with Joanne's, if you order online and pick up in store, it'll already be on sale. And then they'll give you another 20% off. And when you pick it up, they give you a, a $5 coupon. Um, and so... Uh, it's worth it to do it like that. And also, if you could keep yourself from walking back to the yarn section, you can just grab your stuff and go. But, of course, I go to the yarn section just to see. Because sometimes I think, maybe they have some posh that they missed the brown one. Because the posh, I really wanted the brown one, but they didn't have any. Anyway, it's sold out online, too. So, I'm not the only one who wants the brown one. Anyway. Um... These Juicy Couture um, Lux Velour. I like these. I like the size of, a, of the Ami that you get when you make them. So I got this uh, elect, Electric Violet because I don't think I have this one. And then I got this um, Fluffy Fawn. Is that what it's called? Uh, frothy Fawn. And these are all, both of these are sparkly. Both of them are. So I grabbed those. They turned out to be. I think $5.99, and then I got another 20% off of that. The plush yarn was um, $11.99, but it was on sale for, I believe, $6.99, and then I got another 20% off. So I uh, ended up getting it for $5.59 or something like that. So, yeah. I got one, two, three, four, five balls of yarn for $27.37. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Done. Hopefully the sound is good. If not, I'm going to tell you. I may not re-record this. But anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. That's the end of this week's crafty vlog. I will see you in the next video. Until we meet again, keep it crafty.